Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily recreate a cool Super 8 film look for your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like on it below and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. And follow me on social media at Justin Odisho, like Instagram, if you have any questions or want to stay in touch. So beginning here, I have a sequence of clips that I took from my last vlog. And these were all shot with my Canon G7X Mark II. Now, ideally, you'd want to set your in-camera settings to be as close to a vintage film look as possible, aspect ratios, quality, and all that. But this tutorial is going to assume that you're just taking whatever footage you have, and we're going to try our best to get that film look on it without having to do too much work in the camera. So the first and easiest step to get us almost more than halfway done with our effect is to grab an 8mm film leader stock footage and apply it as an overlay on top of the clip. Now I found this one on a site called Beachfront B-Roll. It's just a free recording of an 8mm stock footage so it has those noise and flickers and it also has that film reel sound effect attached to it. So this is going to get us a long portion of the way and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Now this clip in particular has that cool black border, but what I'm actually going to do is increase the scale of it in the effects control panel until we're fully zoomed into the center and we see no border. And I'm going to set the blending mode of this to overlay or soft light. That's up to you. So that's overlay, that's soft light, it's a little less strong. But I'll use overlay for this tutorial and you can see now we have that film reel 8mm sound and those flickers and distorted grain noise to it. So one thing about Super 8 cameras and film is they're actually 4x3 resolution. Now one way you could handle that is before you even dragged your clips on or started your sequence, you could go to File, New, Sequence, and you could have used a sequence with the settings of 1440 by 1080 and that would give you a 4x3 dimension and when you pressed OK, you'd have a new sequence that was more square-like. And when you upload to something like YouTube, YouTube will automatically letterbox and add those black bars on the side. And that'll work if you want your whole project to be 4x3. But let's say you were doing some parts in 1920 by 1080 and some parts you wanted to give that Super 8 film look, like for a flashback or something. In that case, one way that you could recreate the black bars is just by going to the nested sequence, going to effects, and finding the crop effect, dragging that onto your clips or an adjustment layer on top of your clips. So you could go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. That'll pop up in your Project Media Bin. And you could also drag that on top of everything. And just apply the crop effect onto one of those and set the left and right to about 13%. And that'll get you right about the same 4x3 width. That way you could go back and forth from this 4x3 Super 8 look to 1920 in whatever sequence that you were editing. But now that we've got the black bars, we've got the grain and the film and the noise, really we're almost pretty much done. It looks pretty good. But one last thing we can do on our actual clips or adjustment layer, whatever way you prefer to edit, is go into the Lumetri Color panel and do some basic and creative adjustments. So under the Creative section, you can increase the faded film look a bit so the blacks aren't as intense. It looks a bit more washed out. You can lower the sharpness a bit so you get a bit more of that blurry feel that interacts and plays with the noise a bit. You can play around with vibrance and saturation, maybe increase or decrease it to your liking to get some of those mixed up in muddy colors and you can play around the tint shadows and highlights so we can add a little bit of blue in the shadows and a little bit of yellow in the highlights to get our own customized film look so you can play around with pinkish highlights or green highlights and these would all reflect different films and different ways that they were developed if you'd like you can study different super eights on youtube or real super eight film examples and try to replicate them with these Lumetri tools. And I have more color grading tutorials that'll help you go more in depth on how these tools work. But I'm gonna skip over playing around with curves and all the rest of these. If you want, you can add a little bit of a vignette. That's a little bit of darkness around the edges. And that'll give you another look that you might want. And lastly, what I'm gonna do is show you guys a couple effects that you could throw on there if you want a little bit more flexibility. So in the effects panel, let's find one called noise. 
So here we can click and drag the noise onto the clip or adjustment layer, whatever way you, you prefer to add it. And in the effects control panel, I can add some amount of noise here. So if you didn't get enough noise from whatever film overlay that you're using, you can boost up the noise just a little bit, maybe five or 10%. And that'll give you a little bit more texture. And another cool thing you can play around with is the posterized time effect. And what this will do is give you more of that 18 frames per second that's more true to the original film. So for the posterized time effect, you can take it from 24 to 18, and that'll just make it skip a couple frames so that it looks more like 18 frames per second. So I'm gonna press enter on my clip, render a little video preview so I can smoothly play it back. Another tip that might help you play back lots of heavy effect footage is if you lower the preview quality to a half or a fourth, and don't worry, you might notice that things look a little bit blurrier than you think that you put on them, but that's just Premiere letting you see things and they're not actually that blurry. It just lets you play it a little bit faster so you can see the overall look of things. So to quickly recap, you have your sequence of clips. I would edit them all out first because the effects are gonna make things get a bit heavy. And once you have your clips all sequenced out, you can add your film leader stock onto it or get creative with it. Then you apply effects either onto a new adjustment layer over top of everything. And those effects can be things like noise and grain and some lumetri color to really perfect things onto a film stock look that you like and you're trying to emulate. And then if you want the four by three bars, you can add the crop to it, or you can just do everything on a four by three sequence. And when you export it to YouTube, those letter boxings will automatically be added. So those are just some easy and fun ways that you can replicate this old Super 8 film look with your new footage in Adobe Premiere. And let me know what you think or what you might add and play around with on your own in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on below and subscribe and turn on those notifications on my channel so you don't miss any of my future new videos. And you can reach me on social media at Justin Odisho. I'm real active on Instagram and Twitter. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.